got here? We got Evelyn, front row. Ready, Evelyn, Lincoln, Cam Bam. Why aren't you in your seatbelt? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Second row, Rachel, Madison. Back row, Katie, Sydney. Yep. Sustenance. And various packing items that did not fit. All right. We're just missing Mama, co pilot extraordinaire, aka sometimes the pilot. All right. I'm a pilot. <laughs> Buckle up, Cam Bam. Welcome to the Great Mira Family Road Trip, the sequel. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, my wife, though, said to me that she's not quite sure that this road trip could live up to the original road trip because the original road trip was so good. Well, to that, I say, challenge accepted. The track record of being a sequel, sequels rarely live up to the original. So there's a lot working against us here. Um, for one, I, I no longer have my epic beard from the original, that is gone. But we have added some new cast members. We have Lincoln Edward, uh, our two-year-old, who was not with us three years ago. And Evelyn at the time was only a year old. Now she's three going on four, and I'm, I'm sure we'll bring a lot of spunk to this adventure. Uh, we are also going down south, which is new. We're gonna be heading to Florida by way of Gettysburg today. And it's gonna be a good time. I think that we can pull this off and, and make another epic great Mira family road trip adventure, a, a, a fine sequel. So I hope you enjoy this, uh, but really it's for our own sake, not yours. Um, but hopefully you have some fun following us along for the journey. And uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be a good trip. We're moving it. This is how the mirrors move it. Last year during the pandemic, we got ourselves a kitten. Her name is Oreo. Leaving her at home was probably the hardest thing that our girls have had to do so far. I actually have one child in the very back who just keeps crying and crying. The latest crying was because she opened a book and there's a picture in there that looks like Oreo. We have friends stopping by checking on Oreo, making sure she's okay. She has a way to go in and out of our house. I'm thankful that my girls are tender-hearted. But at some point, they've got to learn to leave a pet behind. I'm not going to be able to do it. 
Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in the great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war, we have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work, which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. It is now almost five o'clock, and we still have smiles. Are you guys still smiling back there? so goofy back there, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, camera, stop. Alright, that is the type of talk we've been having. Caitlin Rose, yeah, Caitlin. Caitlin Rose. Look at your mommy. What is going on? Sammy. My hands in the video again. Here's the Potomac River. Potomac River. Here's the river. And on the other side of this, we'll be entering Virginia.
my friend. Hi. <laughs> we finally met in person. We met again online in a group and really enjoyed each other. So now we get to meet. So she cooked us dinner tonight, which all of you know for a family my size, that is a miracle in and of itself. And it's exciting. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, we made it. We found our first destination, and we've got sleepers galore. Uh, march them on inside and get some rest. 